What is up guys and girls? So here we're going to have a playthrough of survival mode with no damage. We're going to jump straight into this. And after this I'll be posting a survival plus with no damage which I eventually got done yesterday. So let's get into it here. So off the bat he can have 11 which means he could have 21. I can do that for 20, which would just increase my chances of winning really, but no guarantee. So I'll pull the 3 for 19, the 4 is already on the on the table at least. So, I'm gonna stay. use the shield for protection. Whenever there's a pause before he says the winner's name, if there is a pause at least, it'll be a Hoffman win or a draw. If he says Clancy straight away, then you know you've won it. And by that I mean if he speaks immediately, then you know you've won. Okay, so he can have 21. No, he can't, sorry. He can have 20 as a max, because my 4's there. Unlucky card. So luckily I had that shield. I'm gonna stay. Just as a backup if you get caught in a hand like that with an unlucky 10. And he won it but no chop chop. Okay, so you can have a max of 19. Hit me. You stay right there, sir. Okay, so I need 8 ideally, which I don't call, I can't get because he's got it. So 7 would give me 20, which would be 1 above him on a perfect draw, but I decide to hit for a 5. So he could still have 19. So I can raise his bet there, but there's no guarantee I'm going to win this. So I use the trump switch, hoping for a shield. Oh, now I've got the switch. I can switch his 8 for my 5. And have 21. Fantastic. Now I want to raise the bet. And I got another one which was perfect and he should be toast so now you could have 20 as a max and that's what he had in the end Goodbye to your phalanges, sir. One down, four to go. Okay, terrible start for me. He could have 21 off the bat. Let's see what he does. Raises the shit out of my bet. Hit me. Be kind, be gentle. Not that gentle. Damn it. So I'm hoping for an 8, which I can't get because it's on the board. So 7 is the best I can go for. Still not going to help me. But I can draw... No, I can't draw anything else. I don't have any shields, so... I can destroy his trump cards, or I could swap two out, try and get a shield or two, or maybe even a better draw card, but took away his one.
24 might be a good one there. The exchange is not going to help right now. I'm going to stay. Let's see what he does. Will you now? Okay, so 11 is his max. Very strange that. It's like they don't register that his card's been taken away. I don't care what difficulty it is. Staying on 6 is just ridiculous. Okay, so you can have 16 as a max at the moment. So now I've got to make sure I use either two trump cards in one turn or... Yeah, that's what I have to do to get rid of that card. Or destroy trumps, I assume. Going for 12, I think we're going to go for a hit. Unlucky. Okay, so now my choices are slimmer. So I'm going to have to swap those cards. Okay, so he would need 5 under face or face down, which he can't have because he's already got that. He can't have 4. He can't have 3. So, yeah, that's not looking good for him. That should guarantee my win. He can't have 5, can't have 4, can't have 3, can't have 2. That's why he did that. So now he can still have 16 as a max. Which is fine. So I'm going to raise shit up. No, I don't raise it up because I would have wasted one finger. Or bet. And in this mode, trying to get no damage, it's vital to not waste things like that. So, unless you're in a dire situation, obviously, but most of the time it's better just to, to play along. And the game takes a bit longer, but it doesn't really matter if you're going for the no damage. Okay, so he would need 6 for 21. So I should just hit. I don't know what I'm waiting for, really. Hit me. Okay, so the max you can have is 20. No, you can't have 20, or you can't have 19 either, because the 5 and the 4 are up. So his max bet now is 18. Hit me. Damn, unlucky card that was. But I think I've got the 24, so no stress there. Although unlucky to have to use it now. I'm gonna stay. I will take a trump. Thank you for that. Although not necessary right now. So now I need to use two trump cards or destroy cards. So I think destroy might be the better option here. Just to finish this round. I'm gonna stay. Off day. I'm gonna stay. There we go. Seventeen it was. Toodles. I keep thinking my phone's ringing with that sound in the background, it's most annoying. Okay, three more. Yes, have a couple of trump cards, why don't you? Okay, he's sitting on max of 19. What can I do? I could hit me. Four's not going to be a guaranteed high, so let's do that. Okay, he could still be sitting. Okay, now he needs a 6 for 21, which he can't have. He can't have 5 for 20. He can't have 4 for 19. So I'm assuming he's on 18. So at the moment, it's a draw or a win for me. So I can draw the perfect card. But I'm probably thinking about it now. I would just stay and uh, save that card and either go for the draw or the win. I'm going to stay. See here, I would waste one, but I've got three, maybe I'll do it. No, I don't. 
Okay, so I didn't need to do all of that stuff. I should have just kept that card and hoped for the win over the draw. But it's easy saying this now. After the fact. Okay, so you can have 21, damn it. What do I have? Hit me. Okay, so the most you can have is 20 with a 9 on the face down. So I need a 5 or a 4 to get me above. Probably a good time to use that. So now it is a draw or a win for me. So let's try and raise the bet. Do I use one? It'll be a waste of one bet. Him only having one finger, so I decide it's the long run, which counts. Okay, we'll have to wait for one more card. Okay, that's very unlucky, unless I've still got a 24 hidden there. Give me another. Okay, he can have 10, which will bust him. He can have 9 for 21. He can have 8 for 20. So that's what I'm going to assume, but it doesn't matter, because I am on 24. Bet, motherfucker, bet. I'm going to stay. Stay. Oh, awesome. Right, two more. Two more in five minutes. Perfect draw, fantastic. Okay, 19 is what I'm assuming he's got. Give me another. So that is 100% bust. So all I do is increase the bet, and hopefully all the way. Do it, do it, do it. One more should clean him up, but you never know what they're hiding in the way of trump cards. So hopefully he's just going to stick and not try and turn something back. Fantastic. Jesus, cut a couple of fingers off, sure, but cut all of them off? Yes. Alright, Mr. Mutated Hoffman, molded Hoffman, molded into something not resembling him, but resembling a flycatcher, one of those flowers, you know, that chow flies. Anyway, have a couple of trump cards, and we're going to go, assuming he has 18 as a max. Hit me. Okay, okay. Curse. That's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me, sir. So that card could be terrible for him. But, unfortunately, I don't have the switch. Destroying's not going to help here. I need to reduce my bet or increase to 27. Another choice there, I don't think. I'm gonna stay. Okay, so he would need he would need ten for twenty seven, obviously, nine for twenty six, which he can have. The nine is still on the board. So he could beat me. What do I do? I could do a Trump switch and maybe I've got a swap card. Hope for a switch card at least. I could do the perfect draw, which would give me two, but he's got two and I've got one, so I can't increase my bet that way or increase my, my value. I could return the last face card, but that's going to screw up me using the 27. 
So I would probably use the discard trump cards now. Or I could just stay. I stay. So there's one card you can have that can beat me. And he didn't have it, so that was lucky. But this is a gamble. Anyway, you slice it. Alright, you fucker, what have you got? You could have 21. Great. Right, what can I do? 11 would have been good there. Just to prove that he doesn't have 21. Hit me. Okay, so what can I use? Oh, he's calling. Ah, oh, that's good. Good, 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 good. So he's fucked. I should probably kill him this hand. Unless, of course, he throws something in my direction that screws with my hand. And he stays. Thanks for playing, motherfucker. So there he is. He's done. And this will net you the ultimate draw card. Which is draw the best number and then another perk as well. So that is that, guys. So stay tuned for the survival plus mode run. Which is going to take me a while to edit. But I will get it up hopefully by the end of today. But other than that, guys, I hope you find the video informative. I hope you're able to smash out this one and get that bonus card for yourself or the bonus trump. And always remember, guys, please like if you like, subscribe if you really like, and I'll catch you in the next one.